When it comes to using Microsoft Word or any other Microsoft application on a Mac, you have two choices. You can either pay or you can use it for free. Microsoft offers several paid options. You can buy Word individually as a one-off payment for $80, or you can buy the whole Office suite for $149. However, Microsoft would prefer you signed up to their 365 package, which will give you Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, and one terabyte of OneDrive storage, all for $70 a year. Or the better deal is the family package at $100 a year for six people. If you simply download Word from the Mac App Store, you'll be prompted to subscribe. You can skip the payment option, but this will only allow you to use Word in read-only mode, meaning you can open documents, but not edit them. But why would you bother with any of that when you can get Microsoft Word for absolutely free? All you need is a Microsoft account. If you're old enough to remember life before Google and Gmail, then you might already have a Hotmail account. Or if you're slightly younger, you may have a live.com or outlook.com email address. All of these will work, but if you don't have one, you can sign up for free. Open up Safari and navigate to office.com. I have an Outlook account, so I'll sign in with my credentials, but alternatively, you would click on Create Account. Once logged in, skip the prompt to go premium and you'll land on the Office homepage, which is where you can access all of the Office applications. To create a Word document, click on the Word icon in the left-hand menu and select New Document, which will launch the application in your browser. If you're familiar with using Word, you'll be familiar with this browser interface. Since this is the free online version of Office, you don't get the option to save files offline to your Mac. Instead, all your documents are saved to Microsoft's cloud storage called OneDrive. You can give your document a file name and to view all of your documents in your OneDrive account, simply click on the application icon in the left menu. The beauty of this online version of Office is that it is accessible from any computer on any platform, Mac, Windows and mobile devices. For more information on how all of that works, I'll leave a link to my previous video below. So that is how you get Microsoft Word on your Mac. Before you go, if you are interested in starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll also link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick, useful tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.